All right, welcome back your time 445 on your Wednesday, December 22nd. We're inching closer and closer to Christmas and our temperatures are going to start to well, inch closer and closer to 80 degrees. Now today is still going to be a cool one. No warm air just yet. Uh, it's actually a pretty cold start. This is a live look, clear skies, calmer winds. That's all a recipe for pretty chilly temperatures this morning. We're currently in the 30s and 40s going to get up to around 59 to 60 around lunchtime. That's at noon and then by this evening, if you're heading out, we'll drop back into the 50s pretty quickly. So overall, We'll briefly get into the low 60s, but that's it. Most of the day is going to be in the uh, 50s. Cold temperatures this morning, a little frost possible north of the lake, especially up towards Care Rear. We're at 34, 36 Slidell, 35 Covington and Mandeville. Hammond side is reporting 32. That site's always a little bit lower than the actual temperature. It's got a little bias, so it's probably sitting closer to 34. But yeah, certainly some frost on the North Shore possible. You may need to give yourself a few extra minutes to defrost any windows. South of the lake, it's still chilly, not that cold, though. We're in the 40s in the Metro 35 Bell Chase, though that's one of their colder spots and then 35 also in Thibodeau along with 36 in Raceland, so definitely a chill in the air. Now today we're going to get up to the about 61 62 and then tonight is excuse me going to be another cold one. Looks like we'll see temperatures once again in the upper 30s tonight on the North Shore, low to mid 40s on the South Shore. So once again, if you do have sensitive plants, doesn't hurt to protect them just in case. I don't think we're going to see a widespread frost tonight, but it is possible that a few low lying spots do get a little frosty on the North Shore tomorrow morning. South Shore once again, don't need to worry about any frost. We'll stay in the 40s for the most part, at least in the Metro. Then our warm up continues, so the mornings are going to be cold through tomorrow. The afternoons will steadily get a little warmer, but it's still not going to be warm until about Friday and Saturday. Saturday for Christmas will be our warmest day. We'll get up to around 80 degrees and then we stay warm all next week, even through the rest of the year. I think we're going to stay near about 80 degrees. So a really incredible stretch of really warm temperatures uh, for December. If you are traveling this week, travel's looking pretty good. Even though the temperatures warm up, the weather stays pretty quiet locally in the south. This is Christmas Eve. Look how quiet and warm it's going to be. 60s all the way to Kansas City. I mean, that is a heat wave and we're talking even hotter temperatures in Texas. Big storm system can be out west. So if you're traveling west, the mountains, Pacific Northwest or California, on Christmas Eve. Do watch for travel problems. Fortunately, the East Coast is looking quiet on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day is looking pretty quiet as well. Look at these temperatures. 80s for Texas, mid 80s for a few spots and then the colder temperatures and a little snow. You have to go all the way up to nearly Canada before you run into that. So big chunk of the country, especially in our area and going up to the north on the East Coast, not going to be looking at a white Christmas. Best chance of that's going to be out in the mountains and out towards the west. So our seven day forecast really, really warming up here after it's going to be chilly today. Tomorrow starts off cold the afternoon, a little bit more comfortable, still a little cool in the upper 60s to near 70. Christmas, we're watching temperatures near 78, and then we're going to start to watch for some fog each morning as we increase that moisture and get warmer temperatures. So we'll probably have some fog around the area Christmas morning and Christmas night. And then there you are staying pretty warm through next week.